Hi, this is Pete from Divi Engine. Uh, just going to be doing a video on uh, like creating a two kind of menus on your desktop with Divi Mobile. So I've got two screens I'm going to be looking at here. So uh, yeah, so th this is pretty much what we're going to be looking at. Uh, it's creating a so you have one you know desktop menu like this, and you can have whatever you want in there, and then have a secondary menu that pops out. And when you scroll down to mobile, it will just become your normal mobile menu using Divi Mobile. So it'd be like a, just uh, the, this desktop menu menu would be removed. So how do you go about doing this? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to use some custom CSS to uh, show the desktop menu on desktop because with Divi Mobile, when you make the Divi Mobile menu appear on desktop, it hides the Divi or the Theme Builder menu. So let me just show you, I'm just going to remove this CSS just for now, just so you can get a better idea. Um, let me just delete this. Okay, so by default, this is how it would look. Sorry, this is just some custom logo that I was just playing with. Okay, so, uh, so you can see how... Um, So let me go to customize. So let's go to appearance customize. And in there, what we want to do is go to Divi Mobile. Uh, and we're going to be uh, uh, previewing the desktop. And what we're going to do is we're going to add, uh, we're going to make the Divi Mobile breakpoint all up to 5,000. Which means, so if I if I reduce it, it means that this, this more will disappear. But if I want to increase it, it means that um, the more will appear. If I remove this custom CSS, this this CSS over here, which is displaying the uh, Divi menu, if I remove this, for example, uh, in the preview you won't see that. You will just see the Divi mobile menu. So we want to add the Divi Mobile menu. Uh, what I've done over here is I've then in the burger menu, I've just you know done a normal one. I've done the burger menu colors black. I've added this text more, which appears over there. So into the desired text, you are next to the burger menu. Position it from the top, so I've just positioned it nicely next to it over there. Um, and I made it black. I've set the background menu, background color of the burger menu. So you can see over here, if I just bring it up, I've set this to transparent. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so that's what I've done pretty much over there. And then in the menu appearance, I've set my background color. I've also set set the, oh, this is in the way, I've set the, the, the width. So if I open this up, I've set the max width to something that I thought looks nice. So you can just do it like that. 271, I mean 270 if I was being picky. And space at the top, I've just, I've just shifted that down a little bit. Okay, so we have a nice menu that opens up. And then we have the normal Divi menu. And this is all the CSS you need. So what I'm doing is I'm just on screen where it's... Uh, so basically the normal Divi mobile menu kicks in at 980. Um, whereas I've done it so that... So if you change it, let's say you do the mobile menu kicking at 1,000, 1,200, then change this number over here. But basically what I'm saying is on screens that are 980 and above, um, hard our custom Divi mobile header. This is the ID that I, I, I do that. So we want to hard the custom header because we want to show the, the default header. And we also want to display the default um, navigation bar, default default header. But we're not going to remove the Divi Mobile menu. So the Divi Mobile menu, CSS, and HTML is still there. Okay, so that's it. So this is this is all the CSS you need. Uh, I just wanted to kind of explain it to you. And uh, yeah, and that's how you can create a secondary. So pretty much two menus on uh, yeah on, on on your desktop sites. Hope this has been helpful. And uh, yeah, any any questions, give us a shout. But we hope you have a great day and be safe.